Today we're going to learn how to create a hinged three-page journal spread. First thing you're going to need to do is grab your sketchbook, sheet of art paper, masking tape, and a pair of scissors. We're going to use the hinge technique, which we have used several times in our sketchbooks before, to be able to show um, more information. However, but we've only done small hinges. Um, this one is a little folded hinge with several little areas. Um, but so today we're going to just do um, actual pages that are hinged. Uh, so you'll have three pages. So um, right now I'm going to clip these because you know how crazy my sketchbook is. And so I'm going to need to clip it to make sure it stays that way. So um, I've got these prep pre-prepped pages. These are my watercolor pages that are pre-prepped. Uh, and then we're going to need three pages for this project, and so um, we're going to make sure that we prep. So what I did is I um, came in and I cut a piece of watercolor paper um, the same size as my sketchbook paper. And what we're going to do is we're going to create just a little hinge like this, like our little small hinges that we have in our sketchbook already. So uh, I'm going to move my sketchbook to the side, that way we can go ahead and start working with this paper. Uh, so obviously make sure you're using the correct side you know one side of your paper has more tooth so you want to make sure that that is the side that you're creating the fold so you always want to work backwards so like this is the smoother side so we're going to use it first all right so you're going to take a piece of masking tape and it really does need to be masking because it's going to hold a little bit better and I always cut it just a tear it just a little bit uh, longer than what I'm doing um, of course, it helps to cut it a little bit longer because you can actually fold a little bit of it back and then it sticks to your surface. So that will actually help you out a little bit. So I'm going to stick this down and I want to do, you know, about half and half. You know, if it's a little off, oops, I've stuck on the wrong side. Let me try that again. All right, so here we are, and I want about half of the paper on and half of the paper off. If it's a little crooked, it's okay. You're gonna end up reinforcing your stuff, but there we go. So see how it's kind of half on and half off. I'm gonna come in here with some scissors, and I'm just gonna go ahead and cut these flush. You could tear them, but you wanna make sure that you um, don't accidentally tear your paper. So. All right, so let me set that over there, and then we're going to come back and get our sketchbook. So this is the page that I'm going to attach it to. This is my teal page, and then um, this is my orange one. So I'm going to now come in here. I'm going to kind of lay my um, taped part on that next page, and I'm going to line this up. Now, the important thing is to have a little bit of spacing in between your paper and you know the both pieces of paper so let me uh, zoom in on this just a little bit so you can see so see how there's a little space because you want to be able to fold that over and it be a, a not easy folded hinge and we're going to reinforce that so don't worry so now let's reinforce let me zoom back out for you okay so let's reinforce now so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a another piece of tape. I'm kind of testing to make sure it's not too far off. If it's a little too short or whatever, it's fine as long as it's not too bad. And I'm going to tape over that piece that we just put down. Okay, I'm going to tape over that piece. And then I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. Because you want to make sure, I mean, you're going to probably come in and do a watercolor wash on there. And uh, you're going to be doing a lot of folding back and forth. So you want to make sure that it is nice and secure. So there I go. Part covered. Now this page that you are putting this tape on, uh, you can obviously... Uh, add some pretty tape to it so you'll have a nice border instead of just the masking tape border or you can use it for additional notes or practicing any techniques or anything like that if the tape is going to bother you. Alright so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this tape 
I'm going to try to just do it like this so you can see. And I'm going to add that tape to that fold of the hinge. over. And this will also help you kind of see that you're kind of in the middle. So see how that line is down the middle? That's the tape that I already have. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come fold one side over and tape it down. Make sure it's pressed. Now if you start, if, let's say you really mess up and you got to take this off. It might tear your watercolor paper just a little bit. But don't freak out because you're going to have tape back over it. So then I'm going to fold this over to secure my hinge. Just like that. So now let me trim a little of this egg this, this off here. Okay. So now I have a hinged three page. So here's page one page two and now page three. So you have a three page hinged part in your sketchbook and if you look right here there's not a lot that there's nothing like sticking out of the page it's still flush. So um, that's how you do it. So now let's get started on our project. 